this is Amy welcome to my channel um, I am going to show you how I do just a real easy uh, floral design and oranges on this green glass wine bottle I've wiped it off cleaned it off with rubbing alcohol and it's ready to go this is the bottle I use uh, for a lot of my videos to make and then I just wipe it off when I'm done and do a new pattern the next time all right so let's get started I am going to be using my flat brush and magic brushes I'm using a 12 and a 14 and then I'm going to use this little guy which is a number four all of these are linked down below my videos if you'd like to purchase through my affiliate links you're welcome to do so I do um, I'm going to be using my favorite fine liner brush, it's actually a nail brush by Westonia. All the paints I use are folk art paints. I'm using Fresh Foliage, Thicket, Tea Berry, Autumn Leaves, White, I'm sorry, Wicker White, and Lime Green. All right, so I'm going to start with my, what did I say, number 14 flat brush. Start with my number 14 brush. I'm gonna dip one side into the wicker white, one side into the autumn leaves, and I'm gonna do a blending stroke. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't spend a lot of time on the blending strokes. Probably I should more than I do, but I don't. All right, so let's start here. I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna do just kind of a little, little buds. And I'm gonna do three. I like my odd numbers. And I just kind of space them out a little bit. But kind of in, still in the same general area. And then I'm gonna start with the, the bigger petals. And I'm just pushing down all the way so that I get good coverage and a big petal. Oh, it's raining out. So if I lighten up on the pressure, it's going to be a smaller petal. For this type of flower, I just want it to be a big petal. So that's why I'm pushing down, giving it harder pressure to make it bigger, all right? So then I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna do another petal, pushing all the way down, bringing it back. So here I go again, pushing it down, bringing it back, pushing it down, and I am overlapping, which is fine. Now, when you go to do this, I can do it going a different direction or I can do the paint going the same direction. I am going to choose to do it an opposite direction and the reason being is that then you can see it. It's kind of like turning up a, a, a petal or two and I can, by doing it this way, you can see it better. Okay, hope that makes sense. I'm gonna turn my bottle down this way do another one. And then I'm gonna actually come over this a little bit. I like overlapping because that makes it more realistic. Because when you do a, I'm gonna do this the same way. And I'm just gonna flip up the last petal. It's going oops, I did it backwards. Okay, because I want it, I'm sorry. I wanted it to go this way and I turned my brush the wrong way. Eh, it still works out though, like that. Just giving it a little flip so that they're not all just straight open flowers. And then I might just go ahead and put just one little bud down here, or I can do more, but I'm gonna just leave it at one bud. All right, so there you have the basics. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is pick up my larger brush, which is the 12. I'm gonna do both sides, one in thicket, one in the fresh foliage, and do a blending stroke. Just very simple. If you're new to my channel, please know that I do try to create simple 
designs for you to paint so that if you're a beginner painter this is something you can do that's very easy and that's it's supposed to be as I'm sure my paintings are probably for many are like oh these are too simple well I am trying to make them simple so that anybody can paint them if you're a more experienced painter put your own twist to them if you're more experienced you can use it just as a design idea you know that's perfectly fine I go down here finish this one off and if your paint goes on too thin just go over it just like this it's very easy you can even turn it to get different different colors depending on how you lead with your brush all right here we go all right, so then I'm gonna do my bigger petals. And on this, so make sure you can see, I'm just gonna push it down and do some wiggling, bring it up to the point. And then when I come this way, I'm just gonna do it flat and then give it a little curve. And then I can put a little stem down the center. If you want it to show better, you can put it down with the, the darker or the lighter green, excuse me. And then the next one, here we go and you're just pushing it down. Now you can do it the opposite direction. I'm just doing, I'm left-handed, so this is the easiest way for me to show you. And I'm just gonna go like that. That came up a little bit, so let's add some more paint. There you go. And let's see where else we need to throw in some bigger petals. Or not petals, but leaves. I'm going to do it with the lighter on that side. I'm flattening it out, bringing it around. So they're not the same on both sides, same color, but they're not the same. They're not wiggly on both sides. And then I'm going to do another one. I'm making it darker and I'm bringing it back, twisting it. And I can bring it in like that. I can actually add another one here. Just kind of go over it a little bit. And just flattening and bringing it back and then going like that very simple very easy to do great surface to practice on is waxed paper or palette paper wax paper is probably a lot cheaper and you can rotate these as far as having the wiggly on one side having this start another side. It's just like, except for me being lefty, it's easier to do it this way. So I'm just showing you some basics that's easy to do. And we'll bring this up here, pull this in that way. And pull one up that way. Very simple. Now I am going to add in some of my favorite little leaves just to be fillers. For the purpose of the video, I'm just doing the front of the bottle. All right, and then I just keep going with this. And you can make them thicker, thinner, one, two, doesn't really matter. It's up to you. I think on some of these, let me put like a little stem going up this way, because I kind of did. Now these are just really just kind of, can't see them very well, let's see here. Just really kind of thin, very thin little filler flowers, or leaves, sorry, they're not a flower. And I do, I like to add some fillers in periodically. I can go this way, come over my flower a little bit, and it's fine. Again, if I need to have some more color showing, I just can change the direction of my brush. 
just like that. And then I can even come down here with some. Again, just being a, a filler, just kind of real light on the chisel edge on the side of the on the side of the brush. Again, if you feel like they're too thin, just come back over them. Very easy. And all done with this brush. And you could do it with a different color so it stands out more. Definitely can do it with a different color. And I like to go over what I've painted so that it's just more like a realistic filler flower in a in a bouquet. All right. So then the next thing I'm going to do is dip my the end of my brush into the white. Come here, tap in my center. If it's wet still like this one, that's fine. Just tap to get as round as you can. And I am going to put centers in these two if I can see a center. And I do believe I can, which is good. And I could do that on these, but I, I'm not going to. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is stick my liner brush. Let's see this. Okay, I stick my liner brush into the paint and then I like to pull it out and turn it as I pull it. Makes it simple. Then I'm just going to go around the center here, keep adding paint as I need it, and I'm just going to do little pulls from the center. They can go in different directions. They can go in the same direction. Whatever you choose to do, I kind of like to have them loose and going in different directions. Again, though, that's, that's up to you. It's your design. You have fun with it. So I say add your own personality into your painting. Even if you're getting inspiration from someone else, that's fine, but add your, your own little touch to it. And then on these where it's just partial, of course I'm just gonna go like this, where I'm not. Not pulling it out all the way around because you don't see the whole center. But I do want some of them to cross. And like I said, if you want them to all go the same direction and not crisscross over, that is perfectly fine. Get that one a little thick. And you can put them on thicker if you want. You know, it's okay if a few of them are thick. But it's just like this. And I'm sorry if my hand gets in the way. I am a lefty, if you haven't noticed. All right, I don't want to overwork it too much. And then the last thing that I'm going to do on this is stick my number four brush into the lime green. I'm going to get it really nice and coated. It's just the one color and then I'm going to come through and paint just some very easy basic one stroke leaves and then just kind of maybe do some little pulls out from it very simple and this just sporadically it doesn't have to be in any certain place it just kind of gives it a little pop when you do this. I do want this to be a little crisper here and here. And then come over again, it's just, just to add some more color to it. You could definitely do this in, you know, completely different color. It doesn't have to even be in green. I like to do this because it does even if I pull color from below, it does give it a little bit of a, makes it stand out a little bit more. But you could do like a brown, you could do a yellow, even just an off color. If 
you wanted to do um, like teal or something to that effect, that would be pretty. All right. I think I'm just going to stop with it there. All right. Just very bright and fun. Again, I just did the front of the bottle. If I were to paint this to sell, because I typically uh, either make bird feeders with them or I do lighted bottles, I would paint all the way around the bottle and probably up into the neck of the bottle, which this one I'm just leaving open. And it would be very pretty that way too. All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit that notification bell. Before you leave, if you would take a moment, share it by hitting that button that you'll see underneath the video. Very easy. Just do that and it'll give you the options of where you can share it and you're good to go. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy. Thanks so much for stopping by and you have a good one.